Okay, what I'm going to try to show you here is how to use Dropbox to download a file into NoteTaker HD. So what you're looking at here is just a picture of the home screen on my iPad, and I have Dropbox down here on my dock, so I'm going to go ahead and select Dropbox. And then the PDF files that are located in my Dropbox account are then found on the left-hand side of the screen over here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the file that I want to modify or write on. Um, and this is the teacher drop-in form um, that I selected um, at the very beginning, at the first uh, video. And up here in the right-hand corner is a little square with the arrow in it. What you want to do is click on there or touch on there and it says open in and gives you some options. I'm going to open in NoteTaker HD so I'm going to go ahead and touch NoteTaker HD and it brings up this screen with a couple of weird lines. It says create annotation page. Um, the first line here says initial page name. Sometimes if you use a template um, multiple times you want to make sure that you accurately title that so that you can keep um, each of your pages uh, separate. So for example right now it says teacher drop-in form but when I'm in a classroom I may retitle that to say a specific teacher's name and perhaps the date. Once I've titled the document then I want to go ahead and click this link that says create page. So I'm going to touch on create page. That goes ahead and opens it right into your NoteTaker HD and you have two choices up in the top left hand column or corner that says done or edit. I want to write on this so I'm going to choose edit and you have two choices for edit. You can edit in edit 1 or edit in edit 2. I prefer edit 2 so I'm going to go ahead and select edit 2 and then it brings me a box where I actually do the writing down here. Notice up here in this corner there's a little blue box that you can adjust by holding and dragging. This allows the area that you write on on the document to become larger or smaller. Um, this is something that you just need to get used to and whether or not you want to write large or write a little smaller um, depends on how big you want that box there. So as you notice I, I increased the size of the box and I can write again right on here. You will notice up here I also have some options. Um, I can highlight something, I can undo, and I can make the size of my type or the color of my type as large or small as I want. And that's pretty much the basics of NoteTaker HD. It does take a little practice, but it's a great combination with Dropbox.